Jaybear 1000 here. Today, we're gonna go through my pack. I'm gonna organize my pack because I have an upcoming solo overnight uh, fishing trip. I'm gonna be taking the boat and we're gonna do some night fishing. So it should be pretty fun. Uh, so I found one of my things here. Let me get you turned around here. I found one of my fire strikers. Now I've always got lighters guys because you know I smoke. I know I shouldn't but I do and I've always got a lighter so if somebody really really needs my help in a survival situation to build a fire I hope they don't complain that I carry a lighter because I'm smoking because that wouldn't be good on their part. I'll be nice and warm they'll be uh well they'll be cold okay this is I believe this is my hammock which I'm not going to be using but I keep everything in here anyway and I got this baggie here for something might be for an extra tarp I've got my sleeping pad I will be using it and I've got patches I always carry some extra tent stakes there we go this is so I think this is my tarp you guys see all right I think this is my tarp what's going on here let me see something guys see if that's any better for you all right now uh, so yeah I believe this is my tarp these are extra oh shoot what do you call them um, straps for my tarp they're extras well for my hammock I should say like I said I always I really probably don't need to carry these if I had to I could um, just whittle some uh, this one goes in here you know I could whittle some out of wood it's not that big of a deal I've got some here and what else do I have here this is my little stove my little $20 cook stove from Walmart it's inside there I got it Now let's see what we got. I think that's it. And the next pouch here. Um, more straps. These are the straps I use. And these ones are extra ones. Yeah. Um, let me see here. I've got this little thing here with a multi tool. And a knife so that thing's handy you can put it on your belt or clip it on your pocket or whatever uh, let me see. this too big of a bottle but that is Vaseline for if I get a hole in my tarp like a little burn hole from an ash or something from the fire that will um that'll stop it i just i need to get a little tiny one but this is all i had at the time when i put it in here so and i think i got an extra little little container in here somewhere and i've got extra paracord okay so that's there now let's go into this pocket this has been a great little bag outdoor products but it's been a great little bag 
just not quite big enough I need about one size bigger I'd like to go two sizes bigger and I always carry a first aid kit monkey makes me carry that well she don't make me it's a good idea I've always carried one with me but she wants me to have it in my pack so that way if I'm out somewhere I can take the only thing it don't have that I really would like to have is a suture kit because I had to suture myself up one time got another knife here like I said I've got a knife here I found my machete it's down here um, see that's sitting there let's see got me a little green light that's handy for um, looking at animals after dark so that came with my trail camera and that's all that's in that pouch and in this pouch huh I wonder why I couldn't find that one night remember guys when I couldn't find my strikers well this carry you know extra lighter got my magnesium flint stick got my whistle <coughs> which technically should be hanging on the outside because if there's a bear or something you know I'm not going he's not gonna let me set my pack down and, you know get my whistle out another extra lighter check check I, hang on guys I, I gotta check something here okay looks like you're all right uh, extra lighter and I've got one of these so always good to have one of these so I've got plenty of knives <clears throat> excuse me plenty of ways on sparking a fire and let's see what do we got down in here I've got I'm not sure what this is for looks like it came out of a like a hoodie or something but it's extra cordage and then I got this this is deep free um, this is what I like to carry so I'd like to pour this one out of this bottle with the DEET into here so it's smaller. Because this stuff doesn't do much for me. It helps, but it doesn't do a lot for me. So I'm glad I got in here as a rubber band. You never know. Okay, <clears throat> so this is my hand warmer. And it's also a emergency power bank. Let's see. I can remember how to turn it on here. Or something about two clicks. Oh, there's the heat. And then it goes down to medium, then down to low. So, but the blue is charge, how much charge it's got in here. So, it's got plenty of charge. All right. Uh, you know in case I have to charge like I said it doesn't really charge anything but it does uh, it will give you enough of a charge to uh, you know I got these and I, I carry these bright color you know just in case emergency I can wave them around or something if I need help all right so that's that Now, what do we got over here? We All we got here is my water bottle. Alright. Make sure there's nothing in here. Okay. Now I'm going to put this stuff all back in here.
So I'm gonna put these straps in this back pocket here. These straps back here and my pegs, tent pegs. All go in here. I really don't need them big ones. I can do away with them. And I'll put my tarp in there. Then, I can't remember what this is for, but I kept it in here for a reason. You know, I'm missing, I'm missing my bag for my little pots here, my pots and pans, which should have been in here. Let me see if I can find it. So no, I cannot check check. No, oh, no, I cannot find it. Hmm. But like this, you know, I could use for a bag of some sort. In fact, I might put put my hammock in here. Notice I said might. <laughs> I'll put my hammock in here. I'll put these in here and my sleeping pad in here there we go now I'm going to put cinch that up now the extra cordage I'm going to put down now I'm going to put my extra cordage down in the very bottom of that one put that in there that's my little stove um, that seems awful big but now I probably better just do it the way I was going to do it I'll put this in here there's that there's a Velcro thing in here. I don't know what it's for. Nothing to Velcro to. Maybe just hang something inside. I don't know. Alright, now, just go ahead and I'm going to put this down in here. I'll put this on top of it. Now, there's that. And there's still room. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of room in this thing. I just need a little bit more. Because once I get this packed full, um, it's just the perfect weight. But, um, I'd like to have one just like one size bigger for an extra set of, extra, you know, change of clothes. I guess I can put those in there. That up here. I got this hatchet. I carry my good one that Brian and Marla sent me in with our other stuff. And I use it quite a bit. And yes, it comes in handy. Alright, there's that. I got a pocket there and a pocket there. So I'll put my fire, all my fire starting stuff, and this pocket that zips. <coughs> Excuse me. That way it can't, it can't fall out. There's that. I'm going to charge this up, but it's full charge, so I'll get this down in here. This is fire starting stuff, which it'll probably go in here. Yeah, I don't know where my bag is for this stuff. So, I'm just going to... Might... There. 
I don't need all of them but when I get you know really all I need is one of them boiling cups um, I get the extra money I'll get one of those okay another cutting device we'll put it in here I must have had that hooked onto that so it looks like I got some pockets here for like pens pencils right there I didn't know it had those um, this I think I am going to hook on the outside my whistle let's see put that in there put this back down in here Stuff here, down here. My little light. Not sure what this is. I guess it's nothing. So I can put this down in here. This should be charged. Yes, so this, my extra cordage, extra cordage can go down in there, this can go down in here, hopefully it don't get turned on, it happened to me once, but not in this pack, I'll put this here. like that right. I think that's it now oh I got this I'm gonna get the smaller can I just got this big can when I bought that stove which I've used several times and this is just a little less than half full so when I get a new one of these when I have to get a new one of these I'll just get the smaller one it's like half this size so all right now as you can see I've still got a lot more room in there for other items but I don't want to overpack myself because the pack weighs just right right now of course it's more than what I'm supposed to carry but I think it's I think it's like 12 or 15 pounds I know to a lot of people that's a heavy pack but to me it's not really um, I want to figure out where to put this uh, would like to have it up front with me they make them now I've seen guys on YouTube they have these packs and right up here by your shoulder strap like this comes around your neck so right up in here it actually has a built-in whistle and one of the straps that go across which I think is a great idea so I think what I'm gonna do monkey has her own whistle too I'm just gonna go like that that way when I put put my pack on it can be just like that it can be I can just grab that out of there blow on it if I have to if I have to signal help there it is all right and there's my pack nothing expensive all that stuff um, there's probably let me see I got this machete this knife and this hatchet came uh, I got it the year before last for Christmas from her mom. Bought it for me. It was, came in a pack. Uh, but if you interested, by there was some other things too. A fire striker, which one I cannot find. I usually keep them all in here. <coughs> came with a fire striker. A couple other things. It was like thirty bucks. This pack was like thirty bucks. So there's sixty. Um, my. Uh, 
which I want to get a bivy, you know, a little tent type thing. Um, but my hammock, I think it was 15 or 20 bucks. I did a review on it. Uh, and it came with the, with the, with the tarp, but my tarp got burnt up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your okay. went in the house to get stuff and I came back out to this. So I had to buy another one. I think it was like five or 10 bucks. It wasn't very much. Um, my stove, 20 bucks. So, you know, less than $200, guys. There you go. And it took me some time to get this stuff. It came with the water bottle. The water bottle that's on the side over here. It came with this. Now, this does leak. Um, it's not the greatest, but it came, you know, at least it's, it's some way to, to, to have water, you know, in case you need water. So, yeah, that's, so I'm going to guess, what, 100 and, let's just say 150 bucks, I think, for that whole kit right there. Um, that's pretty much it. I forgot to mention, I have this light. I did a review on it. This thing is awesome. So I got that light too. So there you go, guys. Like I said, I'm going to be going on a... Oh, also, I've got over here behind you. Um, these go with that camp kit, but I never use these things. I don't drink coffee, so um, I'll never need them. I'll put those in our regular stuff. And I got my hat here. You guys have seen me wearing it so this is handy so that goes with with me on all my my camping camping trips uh so yeah it'll be an overnighter solo camp out uh fishing what we're doing is her and i are going to take a camping trip and bruno of course so we're going to take a camping trip and I reserved the campsite, it's free, I reserved the campsite right on the river for two nights. So she's going to stay the first night, she'll leave the next day or late afternoon, you know, because she wants to do some fishing too. And then I'm just going to stay there uh, the second night by myself and do a little night fishing. I don't know if we'll fish off the boat after dark or not, we'll see. Um... We'll see how they're biting along the bank. If not, we'll get in the boat and we'll try some more. And then she'll pick me up, you know, on the third day uh, at the boat ramp. She'll meet me at the boat ramp. So that way I'll have the tent already set up and everything. I won't have to set up my hammock. No sense of taking down a tent, setting up a hammock when I can just, you know, sleep in the tent. It's, it's not a big deal, but it's our huge tent, you know. But, so it's kind of overkill. But, you know, so that's what's going on. So anyway, guys, just wanted to share with you what I got in my pack. Um, this is stuff I bring. Everybody's different, you know. Uh, I got a lot of knives. Really? Always carry one extra if you can. So, you know, if you got a pocket knife and you got a, another knife, that's plenty. Uh, I don't worry too much. Um my machete in the sheath that has a knife sharpener so i don't worry like i always say don't don't listen to these guys about don't save your knife if you can use a rock use your knife when you really need it well in a survival situation you really need it because if it goes dull well here's my way of thinking pick up a rock sharpen it on the same rock you dulled it with right i mean it's it's not a dull knife is better than no knife. Remember that. Lighters always smoke, but, you know, a cheap lighter, flint will fly out, you know, or you step on it and all the fluid comes out. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad because then you at least got a little tiny spark. So I got, you know, two extra lighters. I got two fire strikers in there. A lot of guys will say, you know, um, use your lighter last. Use it when you really need it. Well, in a survival situation, I, I feel that you really need it, um, you know, and they're like, because, you know, your your fire strikers are indefinite, but a lot of people don't know how to use them, and there's nothing wrong with that, or they just can't get the knack, or their hands, maybe they got, you know, arthritis, they can't get it right, 
carry a lighter you know everybody or carry a thing of matches no they get wet a lighter it get wet it don't want to light <laughs> blow on it a few times shake it around dry it up in your hands you know it'll light but for lighters i would say go with bic don't go with cricket don't buy them two for a dollar if you're going to make a survival pack make sure you get a bic i've never had a problem with it they last forever um so yeah like i said uh you know i got like like that one red knife it's going to come out there's big tent stakes the reason why i brought them the reason why i initially put them in my bag the big yellow ones is because we're in florida it's pretty much all sand down here and sometimes those little metal things they just won't stay in sand you know those bigger ones have a better chance you know they're bigger they grip better that's why i initially put them in there i think i may keep them in there just for that reason because like i said you know sandy situations you know now the little metal ones they would be better in a rocky situation because they're you know they're so thin they'll go through rocks better than the bigger ones they don't weigh that much more you know a couple ounces um you know i can't hike four or five miles like i used to and go camping so it's not like i'm going to be going really far with that pack i still would like a bigger pack because if you noticed i don't have a sleeping bag in there because my sleeping bag is this big around you know um so i'd like to get a um a smaller more packable sleeping bag and one size at least one size bigger because see that that bag there kind of comes out this way i'd rather have a long one you know what i mean that covers more of my back instead of coming out farther you know what i'm saying i don't you know i don't realize it but i mean i'm sure that there's a big difference in it i know years ago when we used to have the aluminum uh the backpacks that had the aluminum frames you know those to me was real comfortable if i could find one of them i'd take i'd, I'd eat that up you could put all kinds of stuff in them um <clears throat> but yeah those are the two items that i'd like to get a bivy one of those you know packable sleeping bags i'm in florida it doesn't have to be like you know a zero degree bag um I mean, you know, it it has got it got down in in the high twenties this year, but I'm not camping in that kind of weather, you know. Um, so, I think the coldest I've camped was 39 or 40 degrees. Monkey and I, I think it got down to 38 one night when we was camping, maybe 40. That's the coldest I'll ever be. So it doesn't have to be a real, you know. I just want something that's packable a bivy you know just a few more things and that's that's then i'll be all i'll be all set and then i can give this pack to monkey because she doesn't need to carry much because i pretty much got everything you know because there's a couple campsites we want to go check out that we actually have to hike back into you know park the truck get out of the truck and hike <laughs> so um you know that'd be good like you know she could carry lighter things you know and um and then i could carry the all the you know the equipment and stuff but so anyway guys just wanted to share that with you thanks for watching i appreciate it so stay tuned those will be two videos i'll do a video of uh, her and i camp out and then the video right after that will be um uh my solo fishing trip hopefully that goes well i'm going to bring my body cam uh which i need to check because the last time i used it, it sounded like the the sound wasn't right on it like uh it sounded like the mic was wet you know it was, but but it wasn't there were, you know it wasn't even wet that day uh so i have to check that out and then um but yeah uh gotta get the boat ready gotta get some gas in the boat get the batteries charged on that everything else the batteries are pretty much charged on be good to go here in a few days so stay tuned for those videos again guys thanks for watching i appreciate it shea bear the myth the man of legend gone for now have a great week everyone stay safe and we'll see you in the next one bye bye and take care